Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice. Tis the season for our holiday patron's choice, and they've decided that I need to be introduced to Celtic punk rock. Weasel Time 420 wrote, It's about time we had an introduction to the world of punk rock here, and who better to do the introduction than Boston's Celtic punk rock sensations, the Dropkick Murphys, with a typically sarcastic yet somehow upbeat approach to a Christmas song. Let's get to it. The season's upon us, it's that time of year. Brandy and eggnog, there's plenty of cheer. There's lights on the trees and there's wreaths to be hung. There's mischief and mayhem and songs to be sung. There's bells and there's holly, the kids are gung-ho. True love <laughs> finds a kiss beneath fresh <laughs> mistletoe. Some families are messed up while others are fine. If you think yours is crazy, well, you should see mine. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I think they had fun filming this. You can already get that sense. Oh, <laughs> I love the way it's so real. It's immediately pulling um, from all kinds of funny things that can happen over the holidays. People rushing in, tumbling downstairs. Uh, don't steal y'all. <laughs> Even if it's a brownie. I know brownies are really, really good. Um, and uh, I want to go back to the beginning. There's lots of really cool things that are happening in here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does her hat say I've been good? She's like, hey, come on, I did a great job on this show. Oh man, a tip of a dollar. Oh, and it's like, yeah, you should be happy with it. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's such a great still of that moment. Okay, uh, I love the humor already. <laughs> The season's upon us, it's that time Pizza? of year. Brandy and Pizza and there's plenty of cheer. There's lights on the tree. Brandy and eggnog, there's plenty of cheer. There's I, I just have to take a moment to suggest to all of you uh, that you join me this next year in not taking down your Christmas tree and rather turn it into an annual tree. Why have joy celebrated for maybe a month, maybe two months, maybe three or four? You know, why not celebrate it all year round and have an annual tree that you redecorate with each season? I have had mine for several years now and I love it. So anyhow, let me know down in the comments if you're going to join me in leaving up your annual tree this year. Please join me. It's so great. I love it. <laughs> okay, anyhow. Um, of course, of course, you'd have to redecorate and have like fantasy creatures on it or something to be year round. That's what my tree currently has. I had like an Alice in Wonderland theme one with tea and books at one point. Uh, I mean, there was like a pirate themed one. It was really cool. Anyhow, it's the bomb. Just say. Brandy and eggnog, there's plenty of cheer. There's lights on the trees and there's wreaths to the Okay, <laughs> we all know if we have fake uh, Christmas decor, which an annual tree, of course, is going to be a fake tree because a real one would be a major fire hazard. Don't do that. Um, but it comes out all squished and stuff, right? I love that they've just left it squished <laughs> for the wreath in this video. It's uh, and then, of course, the cigar right afterwards. Right, cigar? Cigar. I don't know. There's mischief and mayhem. Mischief, mayhem. To be sung. There's bells and there's holly. The kids are gung-ho. <laughs> True love finds a kiss beneath fresh mistletoe. Oh. Some families are messed up while others are fine. If you think yours is crazy, well, you should see mine. I love these lyrics. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love these lyrics. They're amazing. Vocally, there's not a ton happening at this point, if I'm really honest. It's a, it's saying in a fairly limited range, it's robust. There's some lovely uh, gravel in there, like a little extra distortion all the time. There's some fun harmonies. That's why one of the best things in there. Do we have bagpipes in there too? I don't know. I've been actually quite entranced by the movie. Let's keep going. Yeah, for sure. My sisters are whack jobs. I wish I had none. Their husbands are losers, and so are their sons. My nephew's a horrible, wise little twit. He once ah. gave me a nice gift wrap box for it. Oh my gosh. I have to say this family kind of sounds like mine. <laughs> Maybe not to that degree, but I know my dad did give my cousin, so it was his nephew, uh, one year he gave him a, a rock for Christmas. And then my cousin was directed by my aunt to go and thank him. Of course, you should thank him. So he did. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I, love, I love families that mess with each other. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Okay, I'm gonna go back back a little bit more. Man, the video is really intriguing and the lyrics are so intriguing. I actually forget to listen to the voice very much. My sisters are whack jobs, I wish I had none. Their husbands are losers and so are their sons. My nephew's a horrible, wise little twit. He once gave me a nice gift wrap box for it. He likes to pelt carolers with icy snow. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very exciting family gathering. It's very, uh, this is definitely not tame. Definitely not. Uh, vocal, vocal style wise, I, he just is essentially plowing through the whole time, right? It's like continuous sound. It is going to always be there. And the most important part of his sound is it is always present and that it is always delivering lyrics, always delivering text, right? This song is all, from what I am gathering, it's all about the story. It's all about the funny moments. And it's about being something you can enjoy with a beer in hand, right? You just gotta like lay back and just laugh. So um, there's moments when he's doing these sort of rough slides off of things. It's not meant to be really tiny, detailed, right? It has a purpose and it is achieving that purpose well. Okay, let's keep going. Confess I'd be better off lonely, distraught and depressed. The season's upon us, it's that time of year. Brandy and eggnog, there's plenty of cheer. There's lights on the trees and there's oh, lights to be hung. There's mischief and mayhem and songs to be sung. They there's a priest in that family? Oh boy. Oh boy. I mean, at first I thought there's a, there's a policeman. Oh boy. <laughs> the teeth. The teeth. This, this is amazing. I wonder how many of these people are actually related. There's lights on the trees and there's a reef to be hung. There's mischief and mayhem and songs to be sung. <laughs> oh boy. this Christmas where I'm from. <gasps> Those kids, wow, wow, so ornery. Oh my God. Don't fall off his house, this is dangerous. Don't fall out of windows, it's dangerous. Oh my goodness. This is a very rowdy family. I thought they were very like mine, but they are much rowdier. Um, maybe we share the, the uh, fun in common, but maybe not the rowdiness. <laughs> um, I I want to point out that when we're listening to all of the voices together, it tends to just be straight octaves or unison. Um, they're, they're not giving us tons of complex harmonies, right? They're keeping things very easy to sing along to. Especially. They call this Christmas 
where I'm from. And it's meant to be a little sloppy too. My mom likes to cook, push our buttons and prod. My brother just brought home another big broad. The eyes <laughs> roll and whispers come loud from the kitchen. I'd come home more often if they'd only quit bitching. Dad, on the other hand's a selfish old. Wow, the rhyme scheme is just on point. It's very, very accurate. Very accurate to it. Birds come loud from the kitchen. I'd come home more often if they'd only quit bitching. Dad, on the other hand, a selfish old sod. Drinks whiskey alone with my miserable dog. <laughs> oh, cutie. Sod that dog. Whiskey alone with my miserable dog. I don't think that's healthy for pets, but it is hilariously staged <laughs> with the teddy bear too, which somehow is not missing an eye. I, this teddy bear obviously has not been loved on well enough by this dog. Hands a selfish old Kill. sod, drinks whiskey alone with my miserable dog, who won't run off at cherry couldn't tell as he defiled my teddy bear. The season's upon us, it's that time of year For Andy and Eggnog, there's plenty of cheer this is Okay, now that I'm seeing them- oh, Come on, give me your access, fun. Now that I'm seeing some of these instruments, I'm going, oh, okay, that's what I was hearing. There was definitely a Celtic flute in there, or a, a penny whistle. It's like the thing from my heart will go on. Yep, I did it. That's sticking in your head all day. <laughs> You're welcome. Merry Christmas. Um, we also have a very interesting handheld drum, which I hadn't noticed at all. Um, accordion. Yeah, that, there's that. There's that whistle on the, the interesting drum. The trees and there's a reach to be hung. There's mischief and mayhem and songs to be sung. Obviously piano whistle. Wow, that takes a lot of talent to tie somebody up with Christmas lights like that and not break one. <laughs> that, that's a mad skill. I'm surprised those Christmas lights are still on. Well done, well done. Also, who wears, those are some um, scanty, scantily clad people for a Christmas time. I don't think that would work at my family gatherings. I just, I think if I showed up in that outfit, my grandma would probably say, no, 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 go home. <laughs> oh my goodness. They call this Christmas where I'm from. <laughs> the priest is gambling. <laughs> the table said we raise a toast. The fire. This is what I have looked to look forward to. So glad this <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I love this help wanted sign on there too. Oh my gosh. Boys apparently are so much trouble. Oh dear, Mycroft. What in the world is going to happen when you're older? Please never do this. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, just a quick word here about how awesome family can be. I love it when people just love and are wild and crazy and themselves and still are loving to each other. I don't know if, uh, if, uh, of launching somebody out of a window is loving in some families, but in this family, I think it, it seems like it is because people are smiling. So anyhow, um, I just, I, uh, I like that it's so accepting and loving. Turkey done. 
Oh, look. Wait, does that say mischief managed? Mischief, mischief and mayhem. Oh, those are great hats to go together. Great, 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 great hats together. Okay, back a little bit. Um, I really want to try this. Life goal. I somehow have never done this. I don't understand how that's not happened. That should have happened at some point. Maybe because I'm scared I'll break something, but there's got to be a way to like put up a lot of pillows at the end. This looks really, really fun. Oh my, <laughs> family gathering. <laughs> So I understand what makes that Celtic. I think it's the extra instrumentation there. And I feel like the punk rock aspect is going to be how that vocal was driven through the whole time and it had some more grit to it. Uh, but there might be some other elements too. Let me know down below in the comments as well what you think makes it that perfect mixture of different genres. And thank you so much to our patrons. This was hilarious. I really enjoyed the Christmas spirit of this one and the fun family times that were had. And I also really enjoyed the chance to persuade you all to set up an annual tree with me for 2023. If you'd like to see some other patron choice analysis, you can check out a playlist over here. And happy holidays to everyone. May you fall more in love with music every day. Mm -hmm.